Hi everyone, welcome. The bin you see right here is what we're going to be working on today. It's a system that's got African night crawlers in it. It's been in service for 158 days. That's the system that we affectionately refer to as our lasagna bin. So as you can see down here, the last 13 times this system was fed, it was fed in this so-called layered lasagna style. So all we're really trying to do is arrange the food and the bedding in sort of layered fashion. Um, so not all the feedings were done that way. There were 15 feedings overall. It was just the last 13. It was after the first couple feedings we decided to try to adopt this interesting feeding style. And at this point, two weeks have passed. 14 days since the system was last, last fed. It was fed pumpkin, coffee, some stuff that should go pretty quick. So I'm not sure how many leftovers we're going to find, but the aim is to give this system some more food today. So let's get this thing up on the bench and get to work. What they received two weeks ago is almost identical to what they're getting here today. Coffee, cubes of pumpkin, pumpkin's frozen, and I think I included grit with the last feeding. I usually have a pretty good amount of it on hand so I can be generous with the stuff. It doesn't have to be applied every time. Now the castings here on the top look so nice. They're just so evenly spread out everywhere. They're everywhere. Hmm. And I guess that's just the nature of how this thing was set up. So instead of like feeding down the center or having pockets where the feeds, feeding has been applied, the food has been, I don't know, the food's been getting blended in and stacked up and moved around all over the place. So I don't think that there's really that much of a focus spot, but no, there definitely is. There's a focus spot because we always treat the center as the place where we always try to rebuild the lasagna. It was very loosely covered with a couple tattered pieces of paper or cardboard. I think there was maybe one large piece of cardboard remaining that was still intact as a whole piece. Whether that's still intact, I don't know. Uh, I'm prepared to abandon the whole feeding pattern thing here soon. Because without, you know, sheets of cardboard and paper that you can pretend to have as the layers of your lasagna, it, you know, it doesn't look like layers anymore. It doesn't seem like <laughs> lasagna anymore, so seems silly to call it that but it's um it's a system that seems to have benefited from having been treated that way because it's it's worked quite nicely well, at one point when i built one of these lasagna layer feedings i don't know months ago at this point i included tea bags and at first when i was um bumping into these tea bags from time to time they, they just see, seem to show virtually no signs of wear making me think that maybe they got at the leaves inside, but the, the bag wasn't going to decompose. But when you look at this stuff, it's so, it's just, it's like dust. It's like a little dust ball anymore. So it certainly doesn't have the, um, you know, probably doesn't nearly have the strength either. I wouldn't have just been able to tear this stuff that easily. I like to keep things intact so I can actually observe how long it takes for it to break down if I don't interfere with the process. So the only thing I started into doing over here was I, you know, sometimes go multiple feedings without actually examining the outer edges of the system which is sometimes where you might bump into little issues but in the system you know luckily you know knock on wood we've never seen a problem it's the the outer edges always actually seem very very nice and it seems like they're the same way here there's lots and lots of really nice castings on the outer edges here here and there, I would imagine something sort of probably would have gotten nudged down to the bottom and shoved out to the outer edges. And if we go all the way to the bottom, we might actually bump into some of the stuff that's been included as feedings here. But you know, the fact that we've never had any issues down the edges, we've always found the material to be really nice. I wasn't expecting any sort of problems, but it does seem like if you skip doing it, go a few feedings without checking, it seems like you start to, um, I don't know, you feel like you're neglecting it almost. So I just felt like it was the best thing to do is kind of go through these edges really quick, see how they're doing. It is nice to be able to confirm how nicely things are doing as opposed to bumping into something that suddenly needs triage, right? I've had that in a few of my systems. So it's always refreshing to come into a system that seems to be operating very efficiently and very nicely. Very dense in castings all the way around, all flaky and crumbly, no absence of moisture anywhere, not even on the edges. Cocoons all over the place. I'm not sure they're going to show up on the camera, but I keep spotting them all over the place. I'm just not showing, slowing down to, to gawk at them. So I think 
we've already checked out most of this thing. We'll, we'll do one last little upturn of this outer edge here and see how things look. Pretty much the same, all beautiful everywhere. This is a great system, it's doing quite nicely. On a few occasions, I think we even went really heavy duty on the feedings in here. I, th I think we've had a couple occasions where we really stacked in the food. You saw what they got here, it's not a lot. When those frozen pumpkin things start to thaw, they're gonna, you know, practically turn to water. That's kind of what happens to that stuff when it starts to thaw. Freezing definitely helps the breakdown process of that stuff, that's for sure. It always seemed um, inappropriate to go picking around the edges after you had just finished managing the insides of the bin, building up the layers nice and neatly. So we've always, um, unless we've done it in the beginning, we've opted to skip doing it, even if it occurred to us late in the game that it might've been a good idea it's the sort of thing I've only been doing in the beginning so as to not allow that activity to interfere with the uh, the orderly arrangement of the layers down in the lasagna feeding area. I'm kind of trying to skim, there's more cocoons, cocoons all over the place. I'm just trying to skim until I feel like I'm getting to that place where we might be encountering the first layer. Anything that's making up a layer at this point has been in the bin for quite some time. We've not been wanting to add anything, you know, now that this bin is already in excess of 150 days old. For a few feedings now, I believe we've been doing nothing more than recycling bits of paper and cardboard that seem like they could be used as sort of a um, lasagna layer. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Obviously, it's not a real noodle, like a real lasagna, and none of this is cheese or tomato sauce it's just the uh the paper stuff has always been sort of standing in as the 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 large pieces of pasta in between the layers of a real lasagna i don't know i'm just sort of in this sort of i, mean, I don't know why i'm just in this mood to just rip it all to shreds and say you know what no more lasagna feedings <laughs> Because really, you know, we're not going to be pulling out a nice fresh piece of paper from anywhere. Even that coffee that I bought down here is not going to um, be de deployed into this system with its filter. The fil filter will be safe for somewhere else. I'll put that into a younger bin where there's plenty of time for that to get broken down. But here we're sticking to use of only, you know, bedding. Even stuff like that little tea bag there. Bedding that's been in here for some time. Still needs work to get completed. And... I'm just wondering if we'd just be better off at this point scrapping up whatever we can that appears to be a kind of a carbon-based uh, paper product or cardboard item. And then we'll use that as sort of the foundation for today's feeding and maybe just treat this as more of a straight old feeding down the middle anymore like we usually do anywhere. And I guess our hunt for cardboard leftovers will give us a chance to see how the food leftovers from last time are holding up too. Here I can definitely see some leftover chunks of the pumpkin that was in here. Perhaps a bit more even than I expected to see. The system does seem pretty busy. It seems like it's got the, you know, the worms to do the work. And it has been warming up now, so I, I don't even know if I can even continue to consider the cold temperatures as a factor when I see sort of slow activity or more leftovers than I expect. But you know what? I'm not going to sweat it, you know? I'm just going to press on. Well, one thing that was down in here in abundance down low was all the leftovers, all the previous layers that had just turned into mush. And, you know, at that point, you couldn't even see what stuff was, but you knew that the large majority of the, the you know, stuff down here, besides obviously castings, was just um, a mishmash of all the different previous feedings that had come before. So that's kind of what the bottom was always used for. <laughs> sort of like a recycling pen for any leftover bits of food scraps. Sometimes when we found certain food scraps, of which there was a lot, that we knew was going to stick around for a while, sometimes we would try to reassemble a layer of that food type. But I think these leftover pumpkin bits might be just best off um, just getting blended in with all the other old leftovers that are down at the bottom anymore. The worms must love that collection of all kinds of stuff and I guess my only real reason for wanting to collect up a, bit, a fair bit of stuff like this so that I can you know rest it um, down before applying the frozen food so that I'm putting the frozen foods onto 
you know some of these scraps of bedding and paper and whatnot rather than onto the material that the worms are inhabiting yeah, not they got to worry too much there's plenty of material for the worms to just squirm down into to get away from anything they don't like it's more of like a courtesy thing i suppose all right i don't know we might um we might find other bits of leftovers here and there as we go but I'd like to think that the leftover pumpkin from 14 days ago is all down in the hole. I don't want to leave any of that sitting out on the surface. And I think it's official. I think we can really no longer consider this thing as being arranged in layers anymore, the way I'm going to be setting this up. I'm really just kind of going back to the old pattern of dumping the foods right down into the middle like I usually do. And rather than applying some nice fresh bedding for these little guys, they're just getting whatever I could scrap up picking through this system of whatever remains of all that different cardboard and newspaper and coffee filters and you name it. All kinds of stuff was used in here to represent the, the pasta layers in a lasagna bin or in a lasagna, you know, food item. And we don't have a whole lot of it left. I know a whole bunch of it's going to be scattered out here and a little fragment of it here, here, a little fragment of it there. But as far as, you know, decent sized stuff that I can actually pick out and collect up, it's a, it's a, it's a handful. That's it. Not, not much at all. So as we continue to give them food in that same area where all those leftover bits of paper and cardboard are, hopefully we're going to continue to stimulate the activity in and around that bedding material causing further breakdown and you know with as many feedings as this system's had so far it's already in that range where i would already in some cases be considering gearing the system up for harvest and possibly treating one of these feedings or even possibly this feeding as the systems last so you know whether i really want to do that or not i don't know a lot of times i'll hold off on making that decision until such a time that I feel like I'm kind of running out of space in the bin, you know. And here I don't feel that. I feel like we've got room to go if we really wanted to just keep running this system for a little while longer. Certainly no rush. So we'll um we'll play it by ear as far as, you know, how long to run the system. But for now 158 days is not too old. 15 feedings now or 16 feedings. This will be its um this will be its 16th feeding. Already kind of puts it into that cate um, category of above average, I guess, at least for what I've been doing these days. A lot of times treating something in the neighborhood of the 15th or so feeding like we're in now as the last feeding. And then just allowing the worms to hang out in this stuff for quite a while sometimes, just so they could pick off all the little bits and pieces of extra leaf stems and leftover bits of pumpkin and whatever they can find over time the stuff continues to just break down nicely so i don't know we'll have to see it is possible that we might come back at some point in the future and decide you know what the heck let's let's start driving this thing towards um harvest maybe we'll just in hindsight decide that we should have just called this the last feeding today but i always like to th leave things open as Something that could be decided tomorrow if it's not that important that it needs to be decided today. <laughs> Is that like the procrastinator's uh, cry or something? All right. So, once again, we're going to re, uh, reinstate the concept of feedings on indicator, which you don't see very often in a lasagna bin because you know exactly where to go for the lasagna layers, right down the middle. But just for good measure and in case they feel like they are running a little low on like a carbon-based food source or you know something like that they can just come up and nibble on that if they need to so it's good for that as well so that's it for our little check-in today with our lasagna bin which is now I guess technically no longer a lasagna bin but it is always fun checking on this bin because things do seem to be humming along almost perfectly in here these worms are doing an awesome job the material is really fine so um go African night crawlers <laughs> this is by the way the African night crawlers I got years ago from Emily the Crazy Worm, worm Lady, not the ones that I just got recently from Gaetano over at Northeast Worms. So um, just to, you know, if there is a distinction, I don't know, but these are the ones that I've had around for a while. So that's it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please remember to leave me a quick thumbs up before you go. And if you haven't done so already, 
please also consider subscribing to the channel. All right. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.